So, this is also a game of Shibano's that I wanted to go over. He is still white. I am not lazy and just didn't feel like changing the players. He is, in fact, still uh, white in this game. Black, on the other hand, is not a brave lad who is playing 3-3 against him. He is going more traditional. Bonk. With the 4-4 point. White opens up. Also 4-4 four, four point. It's the in thing to do now. Thank you. 3-4 point from black. Not double 4-4. Four, four. Interesting. But good old Mr. Shibby Cakes does throw down dual 4-4 four, four stones. Awesome. Black approaches. And white could back off, but the problem here if well it's not really a problem we could black back off but we could do that and then we're getting into this and then we back off from there and then there's like chinese or enclosures or stuff and that's just like an opening it's a headache one way to try to prevent that admittedly is to just approach immediately rather than approach back approach back off approach back off into enclosure and then you just like hold on tight and try to have more territory than your opponent at the end of the game that's why we sometimes see this a lot now because the double approach into territory or double approach into framework is a huge pain in the butt oh also by the way white does not begin off or black does not begin off with uh three captured stones who would have thought that one so Black backs off with a good old Kosumi. And White does something weird. He decides to pincer high. I would understand low. Either of these, I understand. I would even understand here. I would understand here. I would understand here. This one is heavily unusual. But usually the uh, Kosumi wants to extend in this general area, either here or here or here, you know, one of the, one of the places. Clearly that's not going to happen right now. But Black says, okay, I'm going to reapproach. Yeah, double approach time. And we have the attachment. Ha and Ajaseki. And to extend. Into the corner. Now, one thing that we don't do is we don't do this. The reason why we don't do this is because this variation is insane for black. If you are playing this variation in white as white in your games, you need to question your life choices, man. Because what you just did is let your opponent go ahead and play here later on since this is all nice and goody, which means this is territory for you. And what is your opponent getting? Or what are you getting? Sorry, as white, what are you getting here? Are you going to just, like, play here to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere? Are you insane? Are you trying to lose this freaking game at the start? Because if, if you are, that makes sense. I understand how, why you're playing this way now. But you can resign now. If, if, it's, if it's convenient, you can, you can resign. Because you're not winning from this position. It, it, you're just not. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come back when you've learned direction of play. See you. Off you go. You're not, you're not ready to play against Shibby. So instead, white blocks, because it's quite, the, it's actually the only rational thing you can do. 
black connects, but he's low. And at least this way, white gets some influence for, uh, you know, top of the board. Also, later on, things like this is Sente, because the throw-in's kind of evil. So we've got, like, this small corner now compared to the other variation, right? So I, I dearly hope if anyone's in this position and they're playing that other way, that you stop. Because you're giving yourself a very big headache early on and you might not be sure why. That's why. That's why. But for now, Sente for black, so black plays away. And white says I kick. And I'm taking territory. Kicking here, I really can't fault it because if we back off, then there's like the attachment into the Hane, into the settling, into the corner gone thing, and then black has corner, 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 corner. That's a bit of a that's 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 a bit of a thing. That's a bit of a thing. So I really can't, I really can't, like, complain about the kick. I mean, the coin is still open, sure. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's completely defended now. But we can at least have Sensei. We have territory for now. We might save it later. It's fine, right? It's fine. I feel like the Shapey Shapey's voice coming, and I'm scared. Creakers, do you not like the Shapey Shapey voice? So wait, going to extend, extend, top of the body, body. Kind of like that. Is that, is that the voice? <laughs> so yeah, white approaches, and then black backs off, taking some points. Settling here. Because white knows he has the attachment in the upper right, so it's all good. Instant goosebumps. <laughs> hmm. Goosebumps. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Black pincers, and we all know the response. If there is someone out there who does not know this attachment in this position, congratulations. This is a game called Go. I hope you stick with it and that you are enjoying what you are seeing so far. Clearly, this is your first day here. So, alright. Black plays Hane. And white. Hane back. In this case, however, after black attaches, or Atari, sorry, the other word that begins with an A. And we don't play twice for black, but we play here. White says, the outside, because of this stone, is not for me. So, he goes into the corner, obviously. Then we extend for liberties and sacrifice and sacrificial purposes. And we turn. And we kill it. This allows us to push down in Sente as black, like so. And now white has to kill. Ah! Or I can drop stones on the board. That works too. That works too. So something a bit like that, only with the stones actually closer to their actual positions. There, it's a bit better. You're almost playing between, yes, I know, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. But C17, what's well, C17? I don't know. C17. I'm very confused, what about it? Oh, 3-3 three, three is definitely a thing. 
And fat congratulations, Nizarian. You are promoted to honorary Japanese professional knight and don. Because that is the next move of the game. Now, how did we find out that move? How did we discover that move? How did we discover to play that move? Well, we consulted Leela and she told us to. Okay, aside from that, how did we find out that move? Well, it's actually quite simple. This instantly gets rid of points and gives points to black. Cool. We could attack this, but we don't really know where that's going. We could attack this, but it's just like an extension and it's still kind of light because it can come out and go under. So this isn't really weak. This isn't really weak. We could try to attack this, but... Or we can just take that corner territory right off the board, just kind of nudge it along, not just like take it and just throw it away. Take all of those points and just toss them off the board, just like so, right? And then boom, easy. So into the corner we go. And white says, I'm scared, lies. Drops down immediately. Hope you have hope. a fabulous day, Moop. No, I hope you have a fabulous day there. Ooh. I am just Sam. Thank you for the hundred bits. I'm so happy that Australia's most amazing Go player dropped by to award Moop bits. Hope you're having a great day. Hope that you can do whatever happy and amazing things you want to do today there. I'm just Sam. But yes, white just drops down. Because this group, this one here, is now undercut over here. And it's a little bit of a open up over here too. So... Black says, I'm going to live. You can't kill me because I'm going to live. And it's true. You can't kill it. Thank you for tier one sub. They're extreme caked one, two, three. See, we're just living. We're just living. El Tigremut. Make sure you can't escape that corner. And of course, that means we're going to get posed, but whatever. And connect. Because even a moron connects first to peep. And then, boom! We're live. Live in the corner. Look at that. Took all that corner territory and just gave it away. White makes certain that he's absolutely fine. Gets himself a base. Bats, your bull lid over the chat window. Yes, it is. Yes, it actually is. That is that is true. That is true. Did that for reasons that I'm not going over again right now. Sorry. But yeah, it's there for a reason. Trust me. Black says, ha 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 ha. Can I connect up? Looks like good old shibbies on the ropes. Looks like shibbies on the ropes. What's he going to do? He got his corner stolen. And now the group on the outside of the board is... Defending itself. Not letting itself be attacked. Oh. My god. What are we going to do? Cuts off the right hand stone. I like that. Putting more pressure on the middle. I like that too. And Black's like... Notice me, senpai. At which point, White noticed him. Taking the stone. Uh, which point black is like, all right, I need to play a nice light shape here to make sure that my opponent can't try to kill me. And white's like, okay, I need to not play a nice light shape so that I can kill my opponent. At which point black says, all right, need to play a nice light shape to make sure my opponent can't kill me. At which point, White's like, all right, need to poke at my opponent's shape to make sure I can kill him. This is escalating quickly. I think you'll agree, this is escalating kind of fast. 
It's like, all right, now what? Now what, now what, now what? This whole getting cut off and uh, being attacked thing. Gotta watch out for it. So Black says, I can cut under or I can go over. And Black comes out. Pretty straightforward. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Black turns. Connecting up. White makes shape doing the same thing. Uh, to which Black says, I can cut you. That would be a nice change of events. Because then we'd have the isolated group of white in the middle of the board. So looking good. Good plan. Good plan. And he cuts like so. Have to connect our stone up. And... Threatening like so. That I thought was very, very brave. We could extend, but then he extends. There's no ladder here, at which point he'd have to go back here in Gote, and then this would be safe. So gotta watch out for that. It's tempting to play the forcing moves right now, but what is it really gonna do you? What's it gonna do? What's it going to do? Right? Like, we can imagine this. And this. Then what? Do do it again? So we imagine here. And then here. But black's dead in one move. So then black has to play here. But didn't you literally just kill yourself? Over here? What was the point of attiring out if you're just going to kill yourself on the right hand side of the board, like instantly? Right? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So he plays this one immediately, and not the whole push, push, push. White goes after the cutting point. Black says, I'm a real boy. Because of the connection here and then there's poke still. And white says, I need eyes. Block. Making sure he's got all his eyes in a row, as it were. Forcing move, otherwise the corner's dead. And now here's where things go a little bit insane. Indeed, he's a real boy. Now this is where things go a little bit insane, because look at what's going on on this board right now. It would appear that white's in a little bit of trouble because we don't know if this stone right here is actually dead yet, and we're not certain if this is a real eye. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That is a train. You might be able to hear it in the background. He attaches. Black connects. And then white says, all right, I have an eye. That eye is mine. Black pokes. At which point white says, did I stutter? I am alive. And Black, knowing he's a little bit weak here, starts using forcing moves to make certain that he's okay. Excellent ideas by Black. 
He then moved to keep everything nice and unsettled. And it's at this point that we have to worry a little bit about what's going on on the board. It looks like this is profiting for um, uh, for white. This is turning into an attack for profit for black. This is fucking huge pile of dame. We have no idea what's going on over here. And then people are just kind of like living low, living small here, living small here, living small here, living small here. So interesting, interesting. White taking care of his Aji first. Says, let's go ahead and play this. If he extends up, we take. And then that's the end of the most of the Aji in this location. So he's defending his investment. Black then secure is beginning to secure himself on the left side of the board. Which is why you will never imagine what is going to happen in this game. Take. Look at these solid moves by white. He's doubling down, making certain he's got a source of territory. White responds, or black, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Making shape. Now I've got to imagine what's happening next. Defending. Back to cow. Leans. Ignores. Dun, dun, dun. Back to cow. Do, 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 do. Back to cow. Do, 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 do. Threatens to cut through and cut off the stone. That'd be kind of big. So Black says, no, you cannot do that to me. And back to cow. Black says, I will cut your eyes right out of your head. And White says, I dare you. Well, that just went from zero to a hundred, didn't it? That just went from zero to a hundred? It's like, I'm going to poke at your only eye. So why does he feel fine about that one? That's a question, isn't it? Oh, that's a question. Black gets the poke, which is threatening a cut. Whoops. Don't play twice. There we go. All right. There we go. Good old Shibby Cakes has to get himself out of this one. Any idea? Any idea what's gonna happen here? <laughs> He's dead locally, man. There's, there's, there's no other way to say it. He's dead local. So what acid trip has demonetized for that, I imagine? So what is white on to allow this to take place. Cut on first line? No, yeah, you can't. Whoops. You can connect under, but then there's like the clamp and you're not going anywhere, right? Something around J5. Well, first we do do the underneath because it's the easiest thing to exchange. So, boom, we got that. And then we extend up. Okay. So far, so good. 
And this is where the madness lies. We can now push, block, connect, and then after the protection, because of the stone we just took, we can Atari, connect, need more stones, need more stones, ask for peace, black says no joy, Can I please leave, sir? And Black says, no, you will die. Like, but I really like to leave, sir. I don't want to kill you. Just let me go. I just want to live, you see. I want to see my mummy and daddy that are over there. They've missed me terribly. And Black's like, ha 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 ha. You will never see them ever again. It's like, but, but they're just right there, sir. Just let me go and all, all will be well. But no, Black refuses. He refuses to let these poor stones connect up to his family. So Shibano has no choice. He didn't want to do this. But he starts cutting. It's time to start shanking people. Black connects. And then he cuts. And just like that, darn it, doesn't someone now have two most unfortunate groups that have to live? Isn't that a shame? Now he offered, he offered peace at every opportunity. He was literally going to connect up in Gote with one simple extension. Didn't have to be this way, man. Didn't have to be this way. Not Shibano's fault. No one can blame him for this. Trying to not be surrounded and killed. Then Black's like, I sense something dangerous occurring here. And White's like, oh yeah, you do. You could have just let me connect. You could have just let me connect. Would that have really been so hard? You could have just let me connect. Threaten to connect up and kill everything. Uh-oh, need more stones. dun dun na 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 do 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 all right, whose turn was it? Uh, what blacks? Black push. Okay. Still threatening to connect. And now this next part, I would have gotten wrong. I can kind of see why it's kind of tough for black to read out this variation. Because it is tough to read out. It is. It is actually hard to read this. Like, no joke. No joke. Like, what's the next move right now? You've got to throw in, right? Because you can't let Black play here. Atari, connect. Life. So, you have to throw in. Right? But here's the, here's the beauty of it. Black can't run away. There's nowhere to go. How is Black going to escape? How is Black going to escape? Is he going to play here? If he Hanes, he's getting cut and he's getting killed. So is he going to turn? You're not going anywhere. 
So you can't you can't you can't escape that way. How are we gonna do this one? That's not really gonna work either, is it? Are we gonna jump? We can't we can't leave. There's nowhere to go. Now, for those of you who are saying, you could go here, stupid, and it's a co. Stupid, learn to read, stupid, see, stupid. Yeah, look at that, stupid, it's a co, stupid. Oh, never mind. It's not a co. I take it back. That's why that's not going to work. So, yeah, Black resigned at the throw-in. Because he knew his... <laughs> he knew he couldn't run away anymore. <laughs> Uh, that's what happens when you try to prevent families from reuniting. It's your fault. It's your fault. He asked politely, I'm one stone away from connection, just let me go. And Black's like, no, I'm going to try to kill you. So White just turned into a ninja and just began killing everything on that moved. <laughs> that's amazing. Hmm... Time setting in this game, I don't know. This was the uh, 44th Japanese Kisei League A game. Whatever anything I just said meant. Oh yeah. Shibano's been absolutely on fire lately. Like, he can still go and play influential. But right now, he's reached a stage where if his opponent tries to do something stupid, he's strong enough to call his opponent out on it, which is actually harder to do than you might think, even for professionals. Even for professionals. Like, that is an insane sign of really strong, of really, like, amazing strength. And, yeah, right now, there's so much to love about Shibano's games. So much to love. Like, who is the... I forget. Was it... Oh. Who's the guy that, like, took every title in Japan? I forgot who that was. He's generally regarded to be, like, the strongest player in Japan right now. Iyama? Yeah, he that, that fool needs to look out. He needs to look out because he's going to be having, like, Shibano. He's, like, waiting to wake up one night with, like, Shibano in his bedroom with a knife being like, All of your titles are mine, bitch. He doesn't hold the titles at the moment. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah, Shibano's, Shibano's gunning for the top. Obviously. Obviously. And it's an amazing thing to see. I like it. <laughs>